tonight, Chula Vista declared a state of emergency in response to the crisis. Our Jennifer Franco starts us off live tonight with how the city hopes this could help solve the problem. Jennifer. Maria, good evening. That's right. Tonight, a resolution brought forward by Mayor John McCann was unanimously approved by the Chula Vista City Council. Now, I spoke to the mayor and I spoke to the mayor of Imperial Beach who stopped by earlier and they tell me that the goal is to put the pressure on both state and federal officials, especially as the new administration comes into power in order to advocate for more support and more resources. I am passed. Item is passing unanimously. The Chula Vista City Council is unanimously declaring a state of emergency in response to cross-border pollution from Mexico. Mayor John McCann introduced the resolution after working with other mayors in the region to lobby in D.C. for more funds. We know the estimate is probably a billion dollars. Uh, we've been able to have our congressional delegation be able to secure hundreds of millions of dollars, but that's just the beginning. Additional funding at the state or federal level will go toward improvements to a water treatment plant north of the border. This as a toxic flow continues to wreak havoc on the environment and the health of coastal communities, including southwest Chula Vista. They have trouble breathing. Uh, they can't open up their windows. Uh, it's very unhealthy for them. Artist Redmond's surf rental business is protected from the pollution inside the San Diego Bay. Unhealthy conditions in Imperial Beach drive business his way, and with the Gaylord Pacific Resort coming soon, he thinks... There's going to be a lot of customers that's coming to Chula Vista. There's going to be a lot of eyes on Chula Vista, and we need to protect our, our waters inside the bay. We need to protect our coast. Redmond believes there is strength in numbers. Something that we all need to come together on, and, and not just our, our elected officials. Uh, us as the community and businesses need to come together and support. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre says she's hopeful calls for the declaration of a national emergency will soon be answered. It's something that we're going to explore with the Trump administration, incoming Trump administration, to help uh, see if we can help expedite some of those critically needed uh, infrastructure projects. Now, all of this comes as San Diego County today announced the closure of the Imperial Beach shoreline because of high levels of toxins in the water, of course, making it unhealthy for anyone to go in. Experts will not be giving the all clear until those tests show that conditions have improved. And mind you, there's a couple of other advisories in effect as well. But again, until that testing shows it's safe to go back in the water, experts are warning folks to stay out. That's the very latest from here in Chula Vista. I'm Jennifer Frankel. I'll send it back to you in studio.